Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com and in this video what I'm going to do is discuss um, three different ways that you can sidechain a sound. So, let me just collapse all this. Um, let's see here. Let's make First, let's make a sound to sidechain. Okay, so just grab a random synth. Boom, 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 boom. I want something with some more sustain. Let's see here. I guess let's try the lead. Okay, that'll work. So let's just make a sound. So the thing is that, you know, the drums can kind of get like lost in the sound of the synth. So what you want to do is kind of have it kind of automatically the volume drop a little bit on the synth sound when the bass drum kicks. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. So we'll find the sound here to mix the channel. Okay, first way involves actual side chaining via the mixer. So I'll stop this for a second. And the way you do it this way is you click on the channel that has the kick drum, which automatically usually is channel 1 that has the, the, the default kick. And what you do is that when you have it highlighted, you can actually say, I want the sounds from this channel insert to go into one of the other channel inserts. And, or even into the master, it automatically goes into the master channel. But I'm going to say I want it to go into insert 5. That's where I have the synth playing. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume down so that way you don't necessarily hear the kick coming out of the insert 5. Now on insert 5, what I'm going to do is place what's called uh, the fruity limiter. And within the fruity limiter, you just click on compressor. You click here. There's a thing I side chained. Okay, so I can click insert 1. And then watch what happens. <laughs> And you'll notice that like now the synth kind of has like a, this little pulse going on that kind of moves with the kick drums and the reason that is is because with when you side chain the kick drum based on the threshold and the ratio that you set up over here it'll feed off the volume of the kick drum and when the volume of the kick drum goes up the volume on the um, synth goes down so again you can kind of see that going on when you look at the sign here That's the first way you can do it, so I'll turn off the limiter so that we can try a different way. The other way, easy way to do it is use the gross beat plugin. Using the gross beat plugin, there's just a easy... So what happens with the gross beat plugin is that all the presets or all the sets up here at the top kind of rearrange the beat. So if I did something like this... Which is not what we're trying to do, we're trying to sidechain, meaning get it to the volume to go down when the, the bass drum kicks in, there's actually a sidechain time set here, which automatically does it. And what I'll do is 
well make it more pronounced by adding more sounds. Hmm. I want to clone this. Okay, I'm going to put this uh, in lead. Copy. side chain this what you do is you go back to insert one and you're gonna put on what's called the peak controller uh, which is right over here and a couple things you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna turn the volume all the way negative because if you go positive then what happens is you actually end up with the opposite you actually end up with the volume going up when the kick drums volume hits instead of the opposite so you want to have a negative volume reactor so that way it drops it when the kick goes up. And then you may want to put this little up so that way it doesn't just default to zero volume. Okay, so you put that up like there. Okay, and then what you'll do is you can just assign something to that controller, like let's see here. So if I go back to insert 5, I have the two other side chaining possibilities out. Um, let's see here. Let me use the Fruity Fast LP. And what I'll do is I'm going to assign the cutoff to the controller. So there's the peak control insert right there. So I just get it. And then let's see what happens. And then you just kind of adjust it. assign it to these parameters as well. So link to controller, P control one, see it says um, remove complex, I don't care that the same controller is m manipulating multiple things. Okay, and then that's what happens. <laughs> with none. Five, let's put the effector over here. And then again, link this to the thingy. Except, and then you can change the formula a little here a bit. Input, moving, let's see here. Where's that thing that I said before? Here we go. So you can get something like that, which may be a little weird. So let's see how that works out. And then what else I'll do is I'll make another controller on the same channel. Oh, and then what I, the other thing I forgot to do is I forgot to take off the mute. That's why you can't hear the kick drum. Okay, I'll put another peak controller. Except this one will move in the opposite direction. And I'll have that modulate the opposite knob. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
So those are three ways you can side chain. So again, you can side chain using the fruity limiter. You could side chain using gross beat, and you can side chain using the peak controller. Okay, so hopefully uh, that was fun and interesting. So you guys have a great day, and enjoy.